So yeah, my name is John Sa. And today I'm going to talk about language. So, what is language for each of us? For some people who are deaf, language can just be what they see, how they communicate with face, facial expression, how the eyes look, how the nose is shaped, how your lips is bent upwards or downwards. For those who are not able to speak as clearly, the starters here and there, language can be a difficult challenge for them on daily life. They can feel embarrassed that why can't I speak more properly like me and you? But let's try something. Let's try let's try a short experiment. Mm -hmm. Cute. Are you guys confused by what I've just done? Yeah. This exactly. is where there's a language breakdown. You don't understand what I'm saying. My lips are moving, there are slides moving, uh, there are things moving on the slides, but you don't understand anything. So your confusion proves the point that how important language is. I'll let that sing one more time. Your confusion is pro proves how important the language is. The fact that they, we cannot communicate proves that language can sometimes break down and fail us. Okay, so first of all, what, what is the role of language? Uh, on the surface, it just means that a simple means of communication that, for example, when you meet someone, you can say hi, or when someone steps on your feet and you can say ow, right? You can, you can scream in agony and tell the guy, back off, you're stepping on my feet. I don't want my feet to be confused with step. Therefore, I want my pain to be gone. But in digging more, right? It also defines who you are. Like for example, how many of you have traveled overseas and actually meet fellow Taiwanese? Raise your hand. When you travel to Japan, Korea, then you can point whether the person is fellow Taiwanese, like you, just because the way they say things. Really? No one? So, this is where language is special. It becomes your identity. What you say, how you say, it becomes who you are, your cultural identity. And for me, for example, when people go abroad, suddenly there's someone break into Indonesia, they can point out, oh, it's my national, uh, it comes from my hometown. And when someone breaks into the Singlish, oh yeah, that's Singaporean English. Very clear, right? <laughs> so, yeah. But then also, does it stop there? Does language stop at just pinpointing where you come from? Does it also mean start of the conflict? When, for example, you hate certain nationality, and then someone happened to be part of that nationality, you start to hate him as well even though two of you are strangers who have never met before. For example, let's say I have, hypothet uh, hypothetically speaking, I hate all Koreans, hypothetically speaking. And when someone mentioned or said English in a Korean accent, I'll start hating the person as well, just because he speaks Korean, or just because he has Korean accent. Why? It seems illogical, right? That you have never met the person before, yet you hate the person to the core. Like if Maybe to the point that you feel like punching the person just because he speaks the language that belongs to the nationality you hate. So language is also it also can also means it defines how you look at other people. So it's not just simply a means of communication anymore, but it becomes a tag in your life. How you pinpoint how you tag people? Is it a friendly? Is it someone you're gonna hate or someone you're gonna like? Next. Language also limits you in a very creative way. So for example, is when you when you see rain outside, but you have you forgot how to use the word rain or you you forgot how to describe the rain as raining cats and dogs, raining heavily, raining light, or simply drizzling rain. You forgot how the adjective to put into the rain. And you can just describe it as oh it's raining. When your friend asks what happened outside, you can just simply say it's raining. 
But when you forgot the adjective, you cannot describe how much has it been, how heavy it should be, how much, what preparation you need to take care of yourself. For example, when John asked me, how is it outside? Where I answered him with, it's raining. If he comes out of the house with an umbrella, it makes sense, right? But if typhoon hits Taiwan, and I simply say, it's raining outside, you can go out and play soccer. Do I, am I being kind to John, or am I sending him to hospital? There and there. So, it also limits you in that sense. And then, what if you don't understand the language at all? Who knows where this sentence comes from? You can pronounce it definitely. You can try. <laughs> so suddenly I become Indonesian language teacher, right? Because it comes from Indonesia, my hometown. You can pronounce the sentence, but you have no idea what you just said, correct? This is where language breaks down another time. But when it limits you how much you can communicate with others. What this sentence means is, I cannot speak Indonesian, that's it. <laughs> Alright, and then sometimes I do feel stuck in between the two languages because I can speak what are a few languages fluently. I'm stuck. Well, what is my identity? Am I Indonesian because I speak Indonesian? Am I Singaporean because I speak clear Singlish? Or am I Chinese by race because I can speak a little bit of Chinese? And then what if another experiment is this? What if I insist this is a word? <laughs> You are all Chinese, right? You know Chinese, you have been raised in Chinese and I insist, I insist that this is a Chinese word that you should understand. So is language failing you or are you failing yourself? Can you pronounce this word then? I challenge you. Can you pronounce this word? Who can pronounce this word? Raise your hand. What is it? Biang. Biang. I don't know. I just have to make a random pass. Okay. It's actually a trick. Because Piam is only this word. Uh. And this doesn't make, doesn't make any sense. But it, is, it looks like a Chinese word, right? But it doesn't make any sense. Why? Because language can sometimes fail us. So in conclusion, you're not just what you eat, but also you're, you're also what you say. Thank you.